When a friend became ill, she told Elizabeth Blackwell that a female doctor would have made her much more comfortable. But in 1845, there were no women doctors. It was then that Elizabeth decided she wanted to go to medical school. Elizabeth's friends discouraged her from pursuing a medical degree, telling her it wasn't something women did. Of the initial resistance, Elizabeth would later say, if society will not admit of woman's free development, then society must be remodeled. She applied to several schools and in 1847 was accepted at Geneva Medical College in upstate New York. Her acceptance was a bit of a fluke, the school took a vote from all the male medical students who, thinking it was a joke, voted unanimously to accept her. Throughout the course of her studies, she earned the respect of the students and faculty, and in January of 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to receive a medical degree. She assisted with nursing efforts during the American Civil War and became close friends with Florence Nightingale. She promoted the education of women in medicine, participated in the abolitionist movement, and advocated for women's rights. Later, she took her ideas to Europe, where she worked in clinics in London and Paris. When she returned to the U.S. in 1853, she opened the New York Infirmary for Women and Children.